Hey everyone, this is Collapse and Protect, and today we're going to start our torture test of the Emperor HD-12. This will be part one of three total test segments where we're going to find out just how much punishment this thing can take. For part one, we're just going to break the shotgun in. If it fails at any point, I'll stop the test and see what needs to be fixed, if it's fixable, and how easily repaired it is. Prior to this test, I ran 100 rounds with a birdshot, buckshot, and slugs through the gun, and it worked flawlessly. I still haven't applied any lubricant or gun oil to the gun. The only oil in play is the stuff they sprayed on from the factory. I'm happy to say that after running an additional 150 rounds of birdshot through the Emperor, it's still running perfectly. The action trigger is loosening up and getting even easier to handle than before. It doesn't even seem to care that there's a lot of sticky soda spray getting into the action and on the action bars, it's pushing right on through. Then I ran into a small issue. The stock started to get a little wobbly on me. The good news is that this didn't affect our ability to shoot, it was just a little annoying. I was really hoping that the stock didn't begin to fracture internally from the recoil forces. Maybe the bolt that holds the stock to the receiver just came loose. Either way, it didn't stop us from shooting all the ammo for the day. So far, the Emperor has made it through a total of 250 rounds without any failures. Now let's take a look at this wobbly stock. You can remove the butt pad with this little recessed screw here and take a look inside the stock. It looks like that bolt we talked about before just came loose. That's great news. Let's pull out the socket wrenches and put on some extensions. You're going to need a 916 socket to tighten this bolt back down and boom, the stock is solid and we got rid of that annoying wobble. I'd recommend that anyone buying this gun disassemble the stock and apply some Loctite to the threads of this bolt just as a preventative measure so you don't have to worry about this happening to you. In part two, we're going to go a lot harder on the Emperor. It's going to have to prove that it belongs in the same class as the more well-known name brand pump guns that it's modeled after. That's it for part one. Until next time, have fun and be safe.